What a mighty word from our general supervisor. Come on, let's praise God one more time for that mighty word. We're going to take possession of all of the promises of the Lord our God. We're about to transition now to the installation and appointment of new supervisors, jurisdictional assistant supervisors, and national evangelists. Can we give God a praise one more time? Thank you for sowing into the ministry. Thank you for your sowing. Let's appreciate these finance people who work so diligently. At this time, our general supervisor is coming back to preside over this portion of the service, along with Supervisor Dr. Wilma J. Huey, Administrative Facilitator of Credentials and Licensing, New York Western Second, Supervisor Jereen Montague Hicks, Deputy Adjutant Mother Liaisons to the International Department of Women, St. Lucia Eastern Caribbean, and Missionary Gwendolyn Lawson Townsend, Executive Secretary, International Department of Women, Washington State. Thank you. Amen. What a powerful word. Hallelujah. As we prepare our hearts for this most significant moment in the lives of these women, as our mother comes down Women, you've been given guidance. We're just going to wait for that to happen. We thank God for your bishops who are accompanying you. The installation and appointment of new supervisors. The process will be that you will be called. The sequence will be afterwards, the assistant supervisors will be called. And then lastly, the national evangelist. I present to you today Supervisor Designate Jacqueline Jaquilla Adside, Great Lakes Second. Supervisor Designate Josephine Boyd, Missouri, Eastern First. Supervisor Designate Faye Maureen Butler. Malawi second. Supervisor designate, Katrina Chase, PhD. South Africa, seventh. Supervisor designate, Lanita Clark Chisholm, Dominican Republic, second. Supervisor designate, Sharon Alston Felder, Virginia, third. Supervisor, designate, Yolanda Ford. Texas, Southwest. 
Supervisor-designate, Patricia Ginyard, Vermont. Supervisor-designate, Desi E. Lee, Tennessee Headquarters. Supervisor-designate, Ida Martin, California Southern Third. Supervisor-designate, Marva Komarti Naima. Second Jurisdiction, Democratic Congo. Supervisor-designate, Martha Elizabeth Robinson. Germany. Supervisor-designate, LaJoyce Ann Ross. Texas Lone Star. Supervisor designate Khalib Bagil Franciana Salika, South Africa 6. Supervisor designate Mabel Lynn Spencer, United Kingdom. Supervisor designate Winona Tucker Usher. Missouri, Southeast Third. Supervisor designate, Diane Van Dyke. Barbados and Caribbean Ecclesiastical. Supervisor designate, Karen Dean Watkins. Guatemala, Ecclesiastical. Thank you, Dr. Huey. The hour of installation has come. I was just getting ready to call Bishop Patterson. Oh, oh. Yes. Blessing saints. I stand to present uh, the bishops who have uh, super, supervisors uh, who will uh, be capped and receive their credentials on their even, on this evening. I want to ask uh, my brothers to forgive me if by chance I mispronounce your names. It's obvious that some of you are not from South Memphis. And Bishop Dwight E. Walls Sr. Bishop Sedgwick Daniels, Bishop Shifondo Menwandi, Bishop W. J. McNair, Jr., Bishop Kenneth Obi, Bishop Joseph J. Mayo, Sr., Bishop Levi E. Willis II, Bishop Samuel E. Iglehart, Bishop Lauren E. Mann, Bishop David Allen Hall Sr., Bishop Roger Thomas, Bishop Malandama Mubamba Fabrice. I did pretty good with that one. Bishop Paul L. Watson. Bishop Don V. Nobles. Bishop Kenneth Matanwani. Bishop Alvin Blake. Bishop Nathaniel A. Ellis. Bishop Paul L. Fortson. And finally, Bishop Charles Harrison Mason Patterson, Sr. 
After prayerful consideration, we hereby present these candidates for appointment and installation as jurisdictional supervisor of the women's department in their respective ecclesiastical jurisdictions. Thank you, Bishop Patterson. The hour has come for the charge to the supervisor designate. The constitutional and organizational structure of the Church of God in Christ states that the general supervisor of the Department of Women shall have the power to appoint and remove jurisdictional supervisors who shall supervise the work of the women's department in the jurisdiction of their appointment according to Article 6, Section A, Number 2. For as much as you have been chosen, women of God, and selected by your jurisdictional bishop, who has expressed confidence in you, in your character, and your devotion to Christ, and to the church you serve, you are duly sanctioned to supervise the Department of Women in your jurisdiction. As general supervisor, I assign to you the following duties. To serve as the administrative head of the Department of Women of the jurisdiction to which you are appointed. To appoint and remove with the consent of the jurisdictional bishop, all district missionaries, and to examine and appoint all deaconess and evangelist missionaries to organize the auxiliaries of the Department of Women on the jurisdictional level, and to appoint officers to preside over the various auxiliaries, to give dedicated service to the total program of the church, exhibiting genuine loyalty to the leadership of the bishop, the superintendents, and pastors, and to encourage the missionaries and all women of the jurisdiction to do the same. To uphold, obey, and defend the Constitution, bylaws, doctrine, and polity of the Church of God in Christ, as now is or may be amended in the future, and to teach those under your charge to do the same. I encourage you to frequently quote the scripture, Hebrews 12, 14, and let us follow peace with all men and holiness. We are a holy church without which no man shall see the Lord. And we come to the inquiry. After I have stated, you will answer, I will. As you now come to this hour of ecclesiastical promotion and elevation, being aware of this occasion and the challenge to greater service that it presents, will you, in reverence to God, answer the questions we shall ask of you? Your following response will be, I will, by the help of God. Will you endeavor to live an exemplary life of holiness as a supervisor in the Church of God in Christ? Will you, through firm biblical teaching, present the Word of God for the edification of the Church, for the perfecting of the saints, and the glorification of Jesus Christ? Will you diligently perform all the duties required of the jurisdictional supervisor as directed by the laws of the church as, or as you have been assigned by the general supervisor, the presiding bishop, and the jurisdictional bishop? The adornment. The cross symbolizes your identity with Christ 
and his suffering. It shows recognition of your devotion to him and recognition of his redemptive mission. The adjutants are placing the cross. Not only are you identified with Christ, with the cross, but the stole that you shall wear as a jurisdictional supervisor. It bears the logo of the Department of Women and is a symbol of your office and authority. It is a yoke of responsibility that you cannot take lightly. You are the voice of the past and the present and the future in your jurisdiction of the great legacy and heritage of the Department of Women of the Church of God in Christ. It is a yoke of responsibility and a mark of servitude. It means that you have the responsibility to present to the women in your jurisdiction the program of the church as presented to you by the general supervisor and to serve as the administrative head of the Department of Women as you work under the direction of your jurisdictional bishop. You wear it with pride and dignity. It is a sacred garment. It marks your responsibility and your authority. It makes a statement to those women that you serve and those that will come in from the highway and the hedges that you, have, you are a woman that has totally surrendered and given your life of service to God and your church. And now it is time that I place the cap as a symbol of spiritual and ecclesiastical covering, Christ being the head of the church. And you are working and serving prayerfully and humbly under the leadership of your bishop. These three articles represent service and not superiority. Never abuse the power that has been given you. Always remember that you have been anointed and appointed to do ministry.
the bottom to the depths of my soul. the depths of my soul. will move down toward the center. Thank you. Bishop Watson, will you come and pray as the bishops will lay hands on the supervisor whom they have made choice of. I would like for the bishop's wives who are part of the jurisdiction, if they will just stand in their place. It is my prayer, supervisors and bishop's wives, that you enjoy the kind of relationship that I had with Lady Mae Blake for 21 years as my jurisdictional first lady. We became friends. She was a quiet strength to me. She always had words of encouragement. But it just did not happen. We worked on a friendship. We did lunch, we did dinner, we did times together. Bishop's wives, where are you? If you will just wave your hand. The bond that I pray that you will enjoy together as you stand, supervisors, as the lead woman and the voice of the women of the Department of Women in your jurisdiction, I pray for that wonderful relationship that I so greatly cherish now. Bishop Watson will come as the bishops will lay hands on their supervisors. 
and pray the prayer of installation. Bishop Watson, Germany. Thank you, Mother Lewis. My Father, it is my prayer, our prayer, that you will not just allow this to be a coming together, but a working together and a staying together, a cooperating together, these supervisors and their bishops, as well as their bishop wives and those who are to be a part of their department. Bless them to lead with simplicity, with compassion, with love and respect for one another. Grant unto them the wisdom and knowledge that will enable them to reach souls by the hundreds, the thousands, that men from the four corners of the earth will cry, what must we do to be saved? Help them to live by example. In the name of Jesus, I pray for a fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost that would empower them to do the work that has been encompassed upon them. In the name of Jesus, and cast the devil out of anything that would rise against them. And God, we claim the blessings of the Lord that they will lead by precept and example in Jesus' name. And by faith, we claim it done. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. At this time, I'm asking that you will turn and stand by your bishop's side in the great work of the ecclesiastical jurisdictions. Turn and face the audience at this time, both the bishop and the supervisor. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the authority vested in me and in the acknowledgement of the endorsing bishops, I do hereby install you as the jurisdictional supervisors for the Department of Women of the jurisdictions to which you are assigned. Supervisors, go with God, be diligent, sober, and vigilant. God is not unrighteous to forget your sacrifices and your labor of love. Stand strong with your bishop. And it is my pleasure to present to this August body the supervisors of the Church of God in Christ. Transform me. of perfection, the bond of peace. I see greatness. I see anointing. I see vision. I see the peace of God resonating in every one of these jurisdictions. Thank you, bishops, for your participation. They will now receive their appointments. Thank you, bishops, for your participation. With much appreciation and a spirit of humility. Thank you, bishops. You may return to your seats. With much appreciation. We honor your presence here on today. Executive Secretary, District Missionary, Gwendolyn Townsend will distribute the appointments. Supervisor Jacqueline Jaquella Adside. Great Lakes Second Jurisdiction. Supervisor Josephine Boyd, Missouri Eastern First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Supervisor Faye Marie Butler, Malawi Second Jurisdiction. Supervisor Katrina Chase, 
South Africa, seventh jurisdiction. Supervisor Jacqueline Clark Chisholm, Dominican Republic, second jurisdiction. Supervisor Sharon Alston Felder, Virginia, third ecclesiastical jurisdiction. Supervisor Yolanda Ford, Texas Southwest Jurisdiction. Supervisor Patricia Ginyard, Vermont Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Supervisor Desi E. Lee, Tennessee Headquarters Jurisdiction. Supervisor Ida R. Martin, California Southern Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Supervisor Marva Kramati Yema, Second Jurisdiction, Ecclesiastic Democratic Republic of Congo. Supervisor Martha, Martha Elizabeth Robinson, Germany Jurisdiction. Supervisor LaJoyce Ann Ross, Texas Lone Star Ecclesiastic Jurisdiction. Supervisor Caleb Bogile, Francina Seleki, South Africa, Sixth Jurisdiction. Supervisor Maybelline Spencer, United Kingdom Jurisdiction. Supervisor Diane Van Dyke, Barbados and Caribbean Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Supervisor Karen Dean Watkins, Guatemala Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Well, women of God, go in peace. You've been thoroughly prepared. I want to appreciate Dr. Wilma Huey, the chairperson of the Domestic Examination Board Mother, Vicki Taylor, all of those on the Examination Board, if you will please stand, along with Mother Emma Rose Sanders, chairperson of the Foreign supervisors and the examination board, I want to express my appreciation for your thorough preparation of this great task. Thank you, Dr. Huey. Oh, I'm sorry. Supervisor, Supervisor Winona Tucker Usher. Yes. Missouri Southeast Third Jurisdiction. Amen. God bless you, Mother Usher. Amen. At this time, ladies, you may return to your seat. Let's praise God for these supervisors. I'm asking Mother Annie Pearl Moody and Mother Kathy Humphrey if you will join me for this time. Mother Huey. The Assistant Jurisdictional Supervisorial Appointments for 2018. Assistant Supervisor Designate, Janet Brown, United Kingdom. Assistant Supervisor Designate, Ginsey Brooks, uh, from Texas, Northeast. Assistant Supervisor Designate, Esther M. Ellis, Missouri, Southeast Third. Assistant Supervisor Designate, Tracy Everson, Alabama Third. Assistant Supervisor Designate, Leslie Graham, South Central Georgia. Assistant Supervisor Designate Mary L. Harper, Missouri Eastern First, 
Assistant Supervisor Designate Dolores C. Jackson, Michigan Southwest. Assistant Supervisor Designate Esther Jones, Connecticut Second. Assistant Supervisor Designate Bertha Nelson, Texas Northeast Second. Assistant Supervisor Designate Dr. Marvell Parker, Fifth Illinois West. Assistant Supervisor Designate Dorothy Preston, Mississippi Southern Second. Assistant Supervisor Designate Janice Sanderlin, Virginia Second. Assistant Supervisor Designate Leah Sledge, Japan. Assistant Supervisor Designate Grace Jones Spann, Greater Maryland First. Assistant Supervisor Designate Mary E. Tyler, Southwest Michigan Fourth. Assistant Supervisor Designate Doreen Waldo, New York, Eastern Fifth. Assistant Supervisor Designate Marlene Wells, Colorado. Assistant Supervisor Designate Valerie J. Rogers White, New Hampshire. Assistant Supervisor Designate Jenny Ruth Chandler, Nigeria. All the names been called. Servants of the Lord, you have been selected to officially assist the jurisdictional supervisor in the Department of Women in your respective jurisdiction. You have been instructed and orientated by yours truly to be a supportive and cooperative servant of the Lord as you stand by your jurisdictional supervisor and bishop. Be an example before others as a team player. Confidentiality and commitment in the work. You don't have a program or an agenda. You simply follow the leadership in your jurisdiction. And so I inquire of you, will you answer, I will do so, the Lord being my help. And I'm going to ask Mother Moody if she will move toward this end and pray the prayer over the assistant supervisors. You now become a part of another great unit, the assistant supervisors. They are great supporters and great participators on the national level. Mother, po Mother Moody is the chairperson. Mother Humphrey is the co-chairperson. They're doing great works, be a part of the classes and the activities of the assistant supervisors. They will be given your names and you will be contacted directly from that unit. And so I inquire Will you endeavor to work in agreement with the jurisdictional supervisor and the bishop of your jurisdiction? And your answer, Lord, being, all right, I messed that up, so I'm gonna let you all say it. I, go, you say it. <laughs> Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you this day for these, your servant, that you have given us to be a part of this great ministry. We ask, O oh God, that you will look on us. We look on our dear mother, our bishop, and, O oh God, these ladies that you have given to come and serve their supervisor and this church. Now, Lord, you bless them. Give them a greater anointing. Hallelujah. Give them what they need in order to be a help to their jurisdiction and to their supervisor. 
Lord, we pray that you will anoint him with a heavy anointing Hallelujah. and wisdom and knowledge and understanding that there will be a team because there's no I in team. Yes, now, Lord, you bless them and lead them and guide them in the way that you would have them to go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our executive secretary will now issue the assistant supervisor appointments. I might add in Maryland first jurisdiction, there is another assistant who will serve on the jurisdictional level and her name is Evangelist Wanda Barnes. She will serve alongside Bishop and Mother Joy and of course that designated assistant who is the official appointed jurisdictional assistant, Mother Span Jones. I see great helpers. Hallelujah. I see great s servants of the Lord who walk in humility. You have to love your supervisor in order to successfully serve her. Love your bishop, love the work. God will bless the fruit of your hands. Amen. No expectation of yourself, Hallelujah. but your expectation is that the advancement of the great work of the jurisdiction and the celebration of your supervisor Amen. will continue. God bless you, women of God. You may take your seat. Let's praise God for the assistant supervisors. Thank you. I'm going to call our national elect lady, Dr. Dorinda Clark Cole, and ask her if she will come and stand with me. Congratulations, ladies. You're beautiful. I enjoyed my special time with you on the other day. Praise God for you. You're in my prayers and in my heart. The supervisors, you're in my prayers and in my heart. You are my daughters. We will now prepare to receive the 2018 National Evangelist Missionaries. National Evangelist Jacqueline Fryer. She's from Michigan Northeast. National Evangelist Muriel Martin. She's from Missouri Western Second, and National Evangelist A. Maureen Joseph. She's from the historic Indiana First. Well, ladies, I enjoyed my time with you also, and I learned that all of you are real veterans on the battlefield for the Lord. And I am so blessed to be able to present you for the first time. The reading of your certificate says Department of Women National Evangelist License. And this will be effective this year, 2018. I now commend you to continue the work that has been tasked to your hands. You are here because your supervisor recommended you. That is the only way that a national evangelist will receive those credentials, which means you're faithful in your jurisdiction, your home for convocation, workers meeting your home 
for the supervisor's appreciation, the bishop's appreciation. Your recommendation by letter that I have received makes a profound statement about your faithfulness. And as you continue on in your quest to win souls and go into the highways and the hedges, I expect nothing less as I now turn you over to the evangelist department where Dr. Dorinda Cole will be the elect lady. You'll be directly under her tutelage as you move from strength to strength and glory to glory. And so at this time, Executive Secretary, Missionary Townsend will present to you your license as a national evangelist. Dr. Cole, they are in your charge. You are a wonderful role model to the evangelist women across this church. You're doing a great job, and I know that they will continue to grow and expand their ministry under your tutelage and the vision that God has given you to expand the ministries of the National Evangelists. God bless you. Would you pray for these National Evangelists? Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that we would come to have this sacred time of elevation. Father, I pray now that you look on these evangelists that have been called out for the assignments that will take them further in their journey. And I pray, God, that you would continue to anoint them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. Give them the strength and the courage to continue to keep going on, enduring hardness as a good soldier. We thank you, God, for where you're taking them and where they're going. Order their steps, oh God. Rebuke the hand of the enemy. Keep them in the sin of your will and the hollow of your hand. We thank you, God, for where they're getting ready to door, the mended the doors they're getting ready to open and the things that they're getting ready to share with those that don't know Christ, that you would open up their mouths and give them what to say in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, and we'll be careful to give your name to praise. Send a covering over their lives, a covering over their minds, a covering over their bodies. Keep their bodies well so that they'll be able to do the assignment that is attached to their hands. And we'll thank you and we'll praise you for it in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Women of God, go with God. Stay on the wall. You're already doing a great work. Don't come down. Be encouraged and strengthened in the Lord. God bless you. We will now acknowledge the supervisors reassigned. And uh, the secretary will see that you will receive your appointment certificate. But if you'd be so kind to stand where you are. Supervisor Dr. Lena Jones McLean. Her bishop is the Bishop Johnny A. Tates, Greater Texas Southeast First Ecclesiastical. Supervisor Dr. Gloria Rogers. Bishop Norman O. Harper, Georgia South Central, and Supervisor Ruby D. Williams, Bishop Larry Perkins, Florida Western Second. God bless you. We'll These get three women are no novice. They know the work. They're all involved already in a significant way in the International Department of Women. Their new bishops are blessed to have them stand by their side. God bless you, women of God. Amen. Well, I think that's it. We praise God for 
the training and preparation, the supervisors will continue on now into the Jurisdictional Supervisors Training Academy. Amen. We're in the hands of our marshals, Mother Gatlin and Mother Wooten. God bless you. Evangelist Mother Rogers, did I say thank you for that unprecedented, phenomenal introduction? I want a copy of that. I'm going to have to pull that out in the midnight hour. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to make my way back up to the platform, and I'll be there when I get there. On this evening, don't forget, we will return at 6 o'clock p.m. 6 o'clock p.m. You really don't want to miss the program that has been planned for us on this evening. Shall we stand? We're going to ask if Bishop Forson will come and give us God's divine blessings as we depart from this place. Let everybody say praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we want to give you thanks. Thank you for what have taken place here today. We speak blessing upon each one that have gathered to celebrate and to encourage each other. Now as we go down from here, but not from your presence. Lord, we pray that you continue to bless our general supervisor, our presiding bishops, and all of our great leaders. Strengthen them as we continue through this meeting, which has been one of the greatest ones. So we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Reach over and tell somebody, say, I love you and love the Lord too. <laughs>